Paul McDonald had some chicken and it lay me some eggs. Old MacDonald had some chicken and it lay me some eggs. <laughs> Welcome back everyone, Jim Boy's Kitchen with you on another segment. On this segment I want to show you uh, how to create many dishes in with eggs, alright? Uh, many of you ate eggs before a different style, different dishes. Well, I'm going to show you a couple that uh, um, will be deliciously done by Jim Boy's Kitchen. And of course, uh, these are, when you look at some of the dishes that was that will be preparing with eggs, you will be like, oh, I ate like that before, all right? Now, there are many dishes you can make with eggs. I'll show you a nice couple, uh, a few of them. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. I may use ten eggs, all right, to show you these wonderful dishes. Ek, do, teen, char, pan, char, che, sao, nao, das. I'll use ten eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten eggs. <laughs> no matter how you put it, uh, I may use ten eggs out of this wonderful uh, I was going to say dozen, but it looks like a triplet, right? <laughs> or a duplex. All right. Uh, any kind of a brand of eggs. Uh, at this point, I'm using a bit of the eggland and all of these. But you can use any egg you want. Brown egg, white egg, yellow egg, green egg, blue eggs. Who knows? <laughs> all right. When I'm done, you're going to... Notice that you have eaten eggs like one of this dish before. All right, welcome back, everybody. And remember, before I forget, if you like what you see, remember to subscribe on my channel. Ring the notification bell and remember to share as much as you can so everyone else can learn about uh, making different dishes with eggs, all right? Welcome back everyone. You are special to me. Let's get to that pan and I want to show you how to create some eggs. And I'll eat it with you also. How about that? You want to join me? Let's go. Jim Boy's Kitchen. Old MacDonald had some chicken and it laid us some eggs. <laughs> now, one of the first way to cook eggs you could make boiled eggs and this is we are going to show you this is one of the first step one of the way to cook our eggs you could boil the eggs and then eat it many of you eat eggs like this before but my advice to you use cold water and then put it in the egg, put the egg in the cold water so in this way as the water below becomes heated um, it doesn't tend to crack the eggs, all right? If you put the egg and shock it in hot water, you're going to crack the shell. So it's best to put the eggs in cold water. And how much I told you we're going to do? Ten? Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, that's how many. Come for me. Six, seven floating eggs. Eight floating eggs. Nine floating eggs and ten floating eggs. All right, if you say you see ten eggs there, psych. Um, you know, you, somebody said by dashing, dashing two more. <laughs> so we got twelve by dashing two more extra eggs. So that's twelve eggs. Now, this is one way to cook eggs you boil the eggs, all right? No season, nothing. Put it in cold water, then turn up your heat and let it boil for. Eggs takes approximately 12 minutes to boil after the water begins boiling, all right? So that's something you know now. After we see the boiling water, come 12 minutes after, the eggs will be fully boiled. That's one way to cook eggs. Now the eggs is right there boiling, and here comes this pan. All right, you could use a frying pan. I got a deep, nice size uh, frying pan. I'll show you another way how you do eggs. I'm gonna start with two types of fried eggs, all right? So you will see which one is your favorite and tell me, let me know on the comment box if you ate yours like this. Here we go, the first step. 
or the second stage of making eggs. First, you put the pan on fire to come to a heated temper temperature. Then, I'm gonna add uh, two, two tablespoons of oil. Different types of eggs or style you could make eggs you could cook eggs and eat it and I know once again many of you 99% eat eggs somewhat one way or another or another one dish of uh, what I'm making you eat before I'm bringing the oil to a temperature and I show you what how to do one type of fry eggs first then we go to the second and the third <laughs> All right, this is one way, the second way to cook eggs. Crack the egg. I'll use, in the case, I'll use just one egg, and sh just to show you. The oil came to a temperature, crack the egg and put it right there. This is another way to fry egg, right? This is the second way to cook it. Let me show you. Then I'm gonna take the spatula and just break that yolk, all right? Now, with this one side, the one side below start uh, cooking, I'm going to start adding the season, which uh, I'm going to add. I'm going to put a little bit of onion powder. You put whatever you feel like at this point. A little bit of onion powder there. And believe me, this is so delicious. Garlic powder. Just guesstimate. Ground black pepper. And just uh, throw it in there and a little bit of salt to taste. Slowly flip the bad boy up. Beautiful. Look at that. And uh, very important, uh, you use vegetable oils for this, all right? Um, if you don't have vegetable oil, it's okay, all right? Uh, look at this. This is one way to fry delicious eggs. All right. And we say, look at that, beautiful, huh? Turn it over, look at that, beautiful, huh? Hooray, delicious fried eggs. Look at this, ready to eat. That's one way to make fried egg. I'll show you the next way. Here comes another way. Get me a bowl, crack the egg. Careful, don't let the uh, shell go inside the bowl. If it does, then you could always pick it up with a fork or so. To build some flavor into this egg that I'll be frying differently, I got me a little cilantro. You could add whatever you like, uh, green pepper, bell pepper, onion, or you could just put uh, seasoned salt and pepper, and you're good. But I want to show you. This is to kick it up a notch. Another way you could make it, all right? I'm gonna cut this up, put this in the egg, and show you the next step. Cut up the ingredients, put it into this wonderful egg. Now this is another way to do eggs, simple and delicious. Season salt. ground black pepper, mm, touch, garlic powder, mix it up, I'm going to incorporate all the season, man you could eat this with anything another way to fry eggs. For the fryer, add some oil in. I'm going to put this into the oil. Now, this egg is called fried egg, also. Alright? But this time, it's like making a western omelette. You could also add uh, ham or turkey or any meat and make a western omelette the same way. All right, same way it leads to Western omelet. Fried egg, delicious with all the flavor. So this is the other way. At this point, season, I already seasoned it up with salt and pepper. 
onion and uh, some celery. All right, so nothing else is needed. Just waiting for it to cook both sides, and this fry egg is done. Once again, Jim Boy's Kitchen is showing you different ways how you could cook and eat eggs, all right? Which one is your favorite? <laughs> all right, so I'm turning it, I'm testing the cooking process. Uh, I know the bottom is fully cooked because it's moving like a pancake. Now I'm gonna turn it over the other way, other side, just like so. Got me the golden brown texture of this wonderful with all the vegetables. So this is another way how to cook eggs. And here goes the next one. Beautiful fried eggs. This is done here, right there. Wonderful golden brown fried eggs. This one has all the vegetables. And this one has that too. So now, all right, this next one is a restaurant style fluffy eggs. When you go to a restaurant, this is the eggs you see. So show you. It'll crack the same way. Prepare differently, but simple. Jim Boy's Kitchen, I make things simple for you, all right? Recipe simple for you. Put a splash of a, splash of a little bit of milk. Uh, just a little bit, depends on the quantity of eggs you use. In this case, I want to show you. Um, I use a half a tablespoon of milk. And here is some butter. This is the secret to the key ingredient for this wonderful uh, fluffy eggs. Put a little bit of butter in there and I'm going to mix it up. No seasoning or ingredients needed for this. No salt, nothing. Fluffy eggs restaurant that you could find in restaurants. So this is another way to make your eggs. And let me know which one you have eaten before. <laughs> Nicely done. In the pan here, I'm gonna add a little bit of butter on the surface of the pan. With very low heat, I'm gonna throw this uh, already mixed, pre-mixed egg with the butter and the milk. I would just want to move it around like so. And let it uh, come to a cooking temperature. But uh, before it gets hard, you want to start turning it. So the fluffiness takes place. Want to move it like so. Want to move it around. Want to fold it. Fold it in. Want to keep folding it, all right? With that medium heat, and you're gonna see it's uh, the fluffiness is gonna start developing. Look at that! Look at that! Have fun with it. Restaurant style fluffy eggs. So this is another way to cook eggs, folks. Just wanna take your time. Don't wanna really rush. But you wanna beat the heat, all right? You don't want to let the egg uh, cook through before you turn. It. It's going to fully cook through, but you want to have that fluffiness as it cooks, all right? So you want to keep constantly turning it. Oh, man. You remember you go to restaurant breakfast or the hotel breakfast? <laughs> Actually, it's hotel, uh, hotel, the Hyatt Hotel. <laughs> this is the kind of egg that you find here. I'm going to turn up again, turn, and this fluffy eggs is done. <laughs> so simple. So this is another way to cook uh, eggs. So I got me that style fry egg, this style fry eggs, and now we got the fluffy eggs hotel style. <laughs> Oh man, delicious. So these are different ways you could make eggs. And they're so simple to make, you see? Jingling, jingling, jingling. Yeah. Next, I'll show you. Remember this egg boiling? 12 minutes, uh, it's about 15 minutes, perfect. Uh, this one, this next egg here, the preparation, is the traditional Caribbean way where 
everyone almost knows of how to eat this wonderful egg. I'll show you a delicious way how you could eat boiled egg also. I'm gonna work with these two. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna let them cool off a little bit and then unshell them all right i'm going to take off the shell on this egg or peel the egg as you say and i'll show you the next step and this next one now i peel the eggs already right you don't have to be a pro in here yes uh, nice to peel it uh, nice but uh look at this want to mash this bad boy up you have to add the butter when the egg is hot so as you finish peeling Add some butter. Many of you know about this butter and egg. Lordy, lordy, and you mix that butter inside. This is another way to eat wonderful eggs and butter. Look, and you know, many love it with a lots of butter. <laughs> it gives the flavor, don't it? Yeah. Uh, put some more. I want to show you. It all depends on your lightness, all right? Um, you look at this. You can balance off the butter nicely. It depends on your texture. Uh, who knows about this eggs and butter look at that eggs and butter so, and you know some love the butter when it's still liquidy you put more butter for the taste but this is pretty good eggs and butter look at that let me know if you ate this kind of an egg with butter before no seasoning needed the, the butter has that wonderful salty texture with the uh, its own flavor with that butter, with that egg, right? <laughs> Here it is. Also, you could eat a solid hard boiled egg and slice it like so. <laughs> How many of you love eggs like that? All right, so here we are. I want to show you the different styles in eggs. How many of you? Let me know which egg uh, is your favorite. Which one you have eaten before? Uh, we got uh, this one here. I got the butter nicely done. This is the overturned eggs, both side. This is the fry egg with the vegetables. This is the fluffy eggs uh, that you can find in hotels. This is the egg with the butter. Only the butter. Delicious. Which one is your favorite? Uh, here goes the boiled egg, the hard boiled egg. Cut it in two halves if you wish, or just hold it and grab it and eat it like that. So many ways to make delicious eggs, all right? Now, another thing, when you cook curry, you could take hard boiled eggs that's peeled already and put it in that curry and let it cook through the curry. And when you cut it up like that and eat it, it's delicious also because it absorbed the curry flavor into the egg. How about that? <laughs> oh man, do you like what you see here? Simple way. Jim Boy's Kitchen wanted to show you how easy it is to make different, different style of eggs. Now I'm going to take this out. This is the egg with the butter. Delicious. Move this around so you can see clearly. Look at that. How beautiful. Different types of eggs. Didn't take long, right? That's the one with the butter once again. And this is the hard boiled egg. <laughs> without butter and without mashing up you could uh, your choice optional you could cut it in two half and eat it or just grab it and bite it up whole like that all right uh, just uh, when you remember when you eat eggs it's kind of a coarse uh, solid with a yolk so you want to drink something after yeah, nice <laughs> but right here it's pretty good eat it with sandwich just like so rice anything all right but this one here is known to be eaten just like so without uh, the butter um, without uh, any other thing you can put it in bread a toast and eat it also doesn't matter but it goes well by itself with the butter alone <laughs> jim boy's kitchen another mission with you how are you feeling everybody all right i'm gonna try one of my favorite is the butter and egg which one is yours do you remember <laughs> Mm, let me try it. Mmm, delicious. Once again, I repeat, if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel, Jim Boy's Kitchen. Like and share as much as you can so others could uh, have the dish with you. If you have been making it alongside of me, well, I thank you. 
enjoy your dish. Until the next one, now you know how easy it is to make any type of eggs. Alright? And it doesn't take long. Until the next one, Jim Boy's Kitchen saying once again, be kind to someone that's not kind to you and kindness will always prevail. Until the next one, once again, for those celebrating your birthday in October, happy Libran to you. Well, happy birthday to all you Librans. And for those celebrating your birthday in November, you're a Scorpion, of course. Uh, Scorpio, well, happy birthday to you, all right? Until the next dish or the next scenery, gotta say adios, mi amigos, and goodbye, everybody. And of course, have the television on. <laughs> so, folks, uh, once again, enjoy it. Let me know which one is your favorite.